All right, well, I'm back for a little bit more RimWorld. Let's see how things go. Grim's a little bit idle, but, uh, well, this stuff is 90% grown, so it should be getting busy soon. Him, Veer, and, uh, Greer. There he goes. I mean, if he wants to do, like, the planting in its grape form, I guess. And he's actually done his, his alcohol addiction, which is good, too. So Grim's gonna get a little bit more useful. You know what, nobly at this point, I actually want to change this stuff over to corn, I think, so... Do that. There's Vier rocking through the plants like crazy. It really shows how like the different levels really, you know, change things around. This guy's soft, so he works a little slow. Grim's just, you know, lower, so he's, you know, needs to learn a little bit. And Grim's just rocking away. And you know what? I'm gonna do this now. We're basically gonna change this over to make a heal root. So I get my, like, you know, healing issues out of the way a little bit. Yes, we have lots and lots of potatoes to mix stuff with. And I actually want to set this to be a low priority, so stuff gets put over here first. I'll make this one preferred. Now let's make it so like, you know, stuff goes here last, here if there's no room here, and then everything goes here first if there's room for it. And here we go, our planted corn, heel root, all the good stuff. I should probably get to mine some more steel at this point. Actually, what I was going to do is like start mining over here, so I might as well get this out of the way. Such a one might just out of the way so that you know people can't use cover over here, so to speak. So we'll start getting it out of the way. Mile that stuff out of the way. Right there too, I guess. There's a lot of potatoes out here, but I guess uh, we're going to do some mining first, which is fine. Cat's apparently still busy doing cleaning, which is fine too, I guess. And I guess she'll do mining before she does hauling, so... Get that done. There we go. Basically cutting out this makes like, you know, a nice little gap where enemies can't like really hide in here. They can still hide like right here and here, but I'll get to that later. One project at a time, so to speak. All right, I still have this over here to mine. We'll get to that eventually. I really should have people doing the stuff out there, so... Let's actually get people hauling first for a lot of this stuff. Gear can mine first, I guess. I'll keep him more or less as is. 
I'll keep Lumi as is, I guess. Eh, you know what, they're fine. Just the first few guys I'll have them haul before they mine. So we get some hauling going. At some point, I may want to come out here and start like, deconstructing some of these walls out here. This help reduce cover out here as well. This little drafts of territory, you know. Mine here, mine there, mine all away. See, of course, of course, that goes to deconstruct the Marwall, because he'll do that first, maybe he'll go do some hauling afterwards. Now I gotta chop some of these trees in here at some point. Claim that, I guess, to fix it up. Oh, once these guys basically this out, you know, all sewn, they'll basically start moving stuff them as well, I think. It's one thing at a time. Oh, look at that, we're almost there. Eight more days, and I should, you know, get almost to the edge there. And we're almost done here. There's some corn basically put down. These guys should start doing some other stuff. I guess we'll go clean some stuff first, that's fine. The cleaning's important too, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. There we go, Cornstein's gonna haul some potatoes for us. You know, I almost feel like I should be cleaning dirt come after. I'm just gonna do this for these guys here. So some guys are dedicated to mining first, and they'll mine first, and then they'll do our stuff after. Yes, yeah, so we have lots of potatoes here and rice. Looking at this stuff out of the way. This will help reduce cover as well as making it easier to shoot stuff as well. So, lots of good reason to get rid of all this stuff. Somebody's slushing covered dirt all over the place over here. Just noticing that. Now, by the way, note something. These, like, mountains I'm, like, digging through, they have lots of HP. They have a little bit more in, like, the granite walls and stuff, but they can't be repaired, so... They make for a good, like, natural bear, but they can be destroyed eventually. Nice, this is nice and clean. I may want to even this out to make it linear, that wall, that wall right there, but um, I can get that eventually later. Hopefully I get rid of all the marsh over here. I'm not sure if I got it all, but we'll see.
what I basically have is like fully expand. I'm gonna deconstruct them so I can get you know some components back. Like one component, but whatever. I'll get something back for it. I probably got a little bit of a gap right here. Made myself a little gap in the wall right there. If a raid was to happen, it'd be really bad right now. Of course, I wake up and I'll build the the wall. Timber wolves and other things out here, you know. Bears. Oh, predators! They worry me. Sort of. They actually don't worry me that much, so I'm not spending a lot of time going out to my base except for like the crafters, so. There we go, we're gonna build that now. You know what? Let's go out here and mine out this stuff over here. Yes, yeah, so let's build roof areas here for some reason. Think about it, I should start like going over here and like, you know, expand this a little bit. I was actually gonna make this like, you know expand out. Like so. I'm not sure if it affects the pump at all, but basically I wanna make it like, you know, wall go all the way down line to here. That's why I basically put the moisture pump right there. Wow! We finally got ourselves our first um, ancient ship. So, here's a poison ship. They're basically usually very dangerous to fight. I can leave them be for a little bit, but they can be dangerous. I'm gonna have to fight at some point. Everyone but Lumi and Flowers are basically going to converge, I guess. Right here, I guess. Now, I may want to make use of this, so... Lumi, you can come in here. Actually, I want everyone to come in here. So these are like basically all the weapons these guys have ready to go. Grab some grenades. That's nice. I want to get. Actually, I guess this is fine. We're just gonna get these guys to go down to here. So, poison ships are very dangerous events, and you never actually got to see it in like the other playthrough because they didn't like the game didn't go on long enough. But when you basically first get to them, they can be a mixed bag of like difficulty, depending on, like you know what happens. I really wish it, wish the animals didn't get drafted, but whatever. I 
Alright, I want you to get everyone in position. I basically need to have like people fan out around this thing, and they're gonna be like firing at uh, very dangerous enemies. This guy's hit really close too. Send you over there. Cornish, you can go right here. Eco. Right there, maybe. Grim has a shotgun, so you can go over here, I guess. You guys go right there. You're sort of in range there. Bleeding has a lot of range. I can actually put you all the way over here, I guess. That'd be fine. Should probably mine out this at some point. Just remember that. Uh, Lumi, you're the one with like the powerful weapon. She actually does have a powerful weapon, Lumi, so... I need Lumi to go... I'll send Lumi down this way, I guess. You and you go right there. Oops, I didn't want Fury one here. You can go down here, I guess. Go right there, I guess. So, basically what I'm doing right now, I'm setting up everyone in like a sort of like, you know, attack circle. And they're gonna be basically attacking some stuff that's gonna pop out of this ship. Some dangerous stuff at that. I want you to go here, I guess. Grim, you go right there. We will see how this goes. Of is going to try and draw some fire, grill, throw some grenades. Basically, let her rip. Alright, so, poison ships basically have mechanoids in them, or basically any type of crash ship. And these guys can be really dangerous, especially these uh, centuries of heavy charge blasters. So, he's just, this guy's a priority to take out. I need to have Eco for, fire on this guy if he, if he can. So, you get to move up, focus on that, you guys are going to drive these, draw, draw these guys fire I guess, and we'll see how it goes. Focus fire on that guy, alright so one t person took a hit. This will happen a lot with, with these, like, you know, types of, um, centipede guys. Ooh, a gunshot to the head, that's not good, but whatever. We'll deal with that when I get to it. One of the cyphers died. The cyphers aren't too dangerous because, um, they die easily, but they do have dangerous weapons, so you want to take them out quickly, but... This guy here is really dangerous because he's got, like, a heavy weapon that can do a lot of damage. That guy's also dangerous if he gets some shots on guys, but... He's not really in range to do a lot of damage, so... Excellent. This guy I might be able to remove his blades from at some point. Oh! Okay, I need you to back off. Excellent, I took out this guy. Okay, Grim, fire on that thing. You get to go right there. Marshall, how do you try to draw this guy's fire here? Alright, well there we 
go. That made things go pretty well. I actually went, um, really liked this outcome. Basically, we took out everything with very little issue. Um, cat, you can fire at the uh, thing here. Grim, you've already got good chilling, so we'll just run away. Go away. Get closer. You go away. All right, he's gonna move body parts. So that's something you can do with, like you know, um, repair people. They remove body parts. Shut these guys down. Go away. Go away. Essentially, these guys are going to get right up close to uh, Cornish here. They'll fire over his shoulder at the ship. And that's what happens basically with the poison ship. You basically have, like, you know, an event where these guys pop out. If you actually leave that B, that'll actually harm you over time, the poison ship, because it basically pollutes the terrain. So, you want to basically get it over with. I like the silver I get, by the way. That's one of the nice things about this. Get that steel. Hopefully I get a cypher blade, because then I can, like, you know, put on, say, like, you know, Corsh Knight or something. Replace, like, their torn fingers. I probably won't do it for a finger, but whatever. You failed! Now I have to try over again. By the way, you guys, Sergio cut his right leg. Because somehow I went after his legs. And yeah, these things have, like, fingers, the me mechanoids. Milking chick. I'm sure you can go milk chick. You can do it, Carnish! After many circle cuts, you will do it! Or you would fail trying. Oh right, I got ten of people. You took some gunshots, I gotta treat those. I was gonna try to have Lumi Hall stuff, but she has to go treat people, so. Ah, uh, come on, do it! I've only got so many things that, you know, seriously cut here. As you can see, this is gonna be a very hard process getting a Cypher Blade. I finally got one! Hooray! Yeah, I removed the right blade. Well, there we go. Basically, we took out took him out with a circle cut there. Now, we're basically, trying to disable these guys. That's easy enough to do. So, we'll haul those things to uh, the you know the corpse pile. Get that dug out. That's done. Hold that out of the way, because that, that thing degrades over time, the uh, minigun. Get the, sto the stockpile. Now, I'll try and basically show it this time, but basically this is used for, like, you know, um, essentially, like, disassembling, like, mechanoids, so... It'll be done that way soon. I probably have go juice in here. I should probably do something about that. I 
And it's back to researching, that's fine. I don't mind getting my mess in production out of the way. The heal will take some time to basically grow, but when it grows, it's great. Oh, we're basically done on mining over here. You know, if this pool of water right here, I'm tempted to go like up like this. Just mine everything out like that. Because I can. It's not like there's anything that flies over water, so. Slowly hauling everything over here. So there's a cipher blade. Hand replacement with a telescoping blade, scavenged from a dead cipher mechanoid. Not very comfortable, but quite effective as a close range weapon. And that's basically what this thing is, is. It's basically a weapon. It has high damage, this thing, and it's basically a very powerful weapon to use. It's only got one negative trade off for it, which means that you basically turn your columns into, like, you know, weak little. How can I put this? Cypher blades are awesome things to put on your on your guys, but it basically comes at the cost of them losing effectiveness at doing anything. They basically can't like, you know, um do anything else but but fight basically is what they're all about. I think they can also haul, but they're not that great at much, basically. But they are cool cipher blades. If you don't have a hand, you might as well put a cipher blade on. That's how I basically look at them. Oh, Guru's going up here, apparently. No, I don't have power going to these things, apparently. I should fix that. Corn will slowly grow. And of course, the barrier just broke down. We're stuff to mine over here. I'm basically mining steel so I can basically start to get toward um, building more hydroponic space down here. Basically, that's what I want to do with it. Mine stuff all the way over here. Apparently, there's not much overhead mountain over here. And attempted to move flowers in romance, flowers, flowers rejected, the, rejected the advance. I guess Greer is looking for love. I might have enough blocks to basically do stuff like this. We're basically just going to start building this up. Mine is all out right there. I could actually leave a second wall here. There's reason to do that. I'll just uh, do this for now.
Cat will be all alone up here mining, I guess. That's fine. I'll get plenty of steel from this, like, little, uh, deposit up here. Now, something else I like just basically deep wire, knowing you can cross it, so that's why I basically mined up this way. This stuff is still out here. Is there any room for the bionic arm out here? I should be able to take, like, you know, body parts like the cipher blade here. Yeah, right there. Oh, they'll eventually get moved. Might be that people are simply just mining. And mining, and mining, and mining. At some point, I may, may, may want to start making um, sterile tiles over here. If you have like the excess like silver, you can try and make uh, sterile tiles, which are basically great for like you know keeping food fresh and keeping your um, medicine fresh and stuff like that. I've already said that, but that'd be a place where I could use like silver tiles beside like here and down here. Sterile kitchen, sterile you know other stuff. Still mining up here, apparently. You know, I might make a pen for my, my animals at some point. An animal pen. First, I'll build some more walls out here. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna leave like this big, like double, thick wall here. Possibly. Eh, yeah, medicine production, cool. It's not. What do I want to do in here? There's lots and lots of stuff as you can see that you can like research. And of this stuff, it might make sense for me to start like lear learning like deep drilling so I can like do some mining. Though I do need to get the ground penetrating scanner for that, and that's like a whopping some thousand to research. There's some stuff that could take a long time to research, like this. But, maybe I'll do it. And I thought something important. I should probably be using a machine table to make some artillery shells. Because I do have that motor up here, so... I'll do it until I have, I have 10. It won't matter who's really crafting it, so whoever wants to can craft it. I'll probably just on and maybe see like, someone use like this to um, dis disassemble some uh, mechanoids. That'd be Vlad or... Ryu. Ryu's asleep, so it'd probably be Vlad. Valena. Calling her Vlad, you know, it sounds very Soviet. Or Russian. It's obviously gone. This sounds very Russian. Or that's like the, like, you know, Russian term for like, uh... You know, female name in Russia. Alright, so here we go. Basically, she's going to disassemble a mechanoid. She basically takes the mechanoid here. Takes it to the table. And then it spews out a bunch of resources for you to use. Some plastic steel, some components. It really depends on the mechanoid, though. Some mechanoids don't really, you know... Give, like, you know, as much as, like, the same thing. Like, you get more out of, like, these big ones, obviously. Lost right there. More steel right there. I'm getting lots of steel. Now, if I want, I can get her to make some artillery shells, and that, you know... 
That's a great way to learn stuff. Should probably come down here and start doing some more hydroponics, I guess, at this point. So we'll start setting these up. Let's see here. I don't want to set them up. Oh, that figure's Blast Storm. Why not? Whoops. Yes, these are basically going to be what this is going to look like at some point. We're going to have lots of hydroponics in here. I wish I was still alive to build this stuff, but oh well. I'm dead, so it doesn't matter. Fires, they rage! Oh, this guy got burned. Yes, the animals will burn too, by the way. Nice, we're almost done all this mining over here. I got a little bit of mining over here, I guess, to do. Might as well get that out of the way. So this is a nice thing to like to note, by the way. If you want to make like really solid defenses, you know, like double wall stuff. I don't usually do it because it's like, you know, a heavy waste of resources, but it's something you can do. Five more days until it expands a little bit more, that one. And yeah, you can, as you can see, this is like an almost fully expanded like radius right here for this one. So in a few days, we'll basically be done with these like, you know, moisture pumps. Now we can ex extend them out even further. Wow, there's even more steel over there. Something I'm thinking about doing, by the way, is just going over here. I could mine like all the way around this corner here. Not that I really need to, but I could. I could just make a door right there. That look pretty good, I think. Why are you going all the way over here? Very odd place to go get rocks. I guess we're running out of rocks all the way down here. Cool, we're getting this done. Now, part of the reason I'm basically going over here minus is to make like a little, you know, way to get in here if I need to. That's basically out of the way. The mine never stops, it just keeps going. Hey, look at that, we're starting to get this stuff done. I'll just let, like, you know, of course, I build all the things before I mess with them. Oh, she doesn't like her environment, I guess. That happens, by the way. If you're in a terrible environment, you won't like it too much, I guess, in this game. Not much more to say.
You know, this looks like it's fully expanded. I'm not sure I can expand past this point, so... I might be able to remove this one right now. But we'll do that next episode, I guess. Excellent. I should not steal issues for a while. We're just saying something. You know what, let's make uh, a little bit more. We'll make pretty artillery shells. Get my motor plant firing, you know, power, so to speak. Nice, we're cleaning up the, all this stuff, so I've done all my mining over here, I guess. The mining is complete. Oh yeah, I have to build a drug lab somewhere, don't I? Let's do that up here, I guess. We'll build a drug lab, so... Drug labs are, drug labs are basically used to produce drugs if, if I haven't already guessed that, but... Um, essentially... You build them... Pretty much like so. Might take a while to build that because I don't think I have anyone else but Cornish. That's just, you know, plain mean. Everyone gets the flag? Yep, that's gonna kill my colony. Um. Cornish, did you get the flag? No. I'm gonna get you to call for. Just someone to bring medicine of any sort. Um. Request the trade caravan. I guess bulk's good would be what I want. Everyone's gonna basically get in bed now. As if I need like half my colony gets sick right now. Let me where are you going? I actually need you to treat flowers, so go do that. That'll be an issue, having all my guys like sick like this. on that because these guys will probably be complaining about sleeping outside if I'm not careful. There we go. So everyone has the plague. That's an issue. Because we know how bad the plague can be. Oh well, I didn't have medicine. I might cut this heal root early just to try and get some, you know, herbal medicine to make use of. Because anything will be good to basically treat these guys with.
Looks like Ryo's busy making some of the artillery shells now. No, you get in bed. Let me get over here. Yeah, already applies getting, you know, terrible on some of my guys. This is what it's like when you don't treat your guys messing, and you know, you get mages right away. One of the problems with these guys, like, you know, having major breakers is that, you know, they're going to be in terrible shape. If they go berserk, then it's going to be a big issue. I should probably work on uh, hostile beds soon at some point. On the bright side, I guess I'm gonna have lots of corn soon. Nice. So all my hydraulic hydraulic space have made you know. Made to work. And I think we got herbal medicine up here now. Somewhere. Mm. Figures. Why not? Luckily, I repaired that before it, you know, got lost there. You can lose heal root and stuff like that if, like, you know. Ha stuff happens. Oh, that's bad. I may have to remove that bionic arm just, you know, for a simple reason I don't want to lose it. You can't remove, like, you know, bionic arms from people who are dead, uh, um, unfortunately, in this game. It's something it should have, but oh well. Yeah, severe Ill illness and flowers. Not a good sign because she's one of my medics. She may die. You know, think about it. Let's just get this stuff worked on and finished. So I'll note that these take a lot of, like, you know, the build. And think about it, I may want to just deconstruct one of these just so that um, I'm not killing all my components because I need eight of them to build this one. But of course, build like one of these so I can start, you know, eventually producing mess in here. Let's go rest. So basically I can use this to make medicine. This will require herbal medicine, nutri nutrient and cloth, which is all stuff I have to get eventually, but we'll get to it eventually. They're all pretty much like extreme plague at this point, which is bad.
Well, we'll see how this goes in the next episode, but I might lose flowers soon. There goes Grim. Lumi, you have to get out here. Start doing a job. Starvation apparently on Grim. As if he needs more issues to worry about. Oh, there goes flowers. So, yeah, basically the thing is that you can't, like, you know, modify, like, people who are dead, so... I can't get that bionic arm back, so... Easy come, easy go, so to speak. And this is why I should have bought medicine. And you are completely stupid walking around sick like that, but oh well. Go heal up more. We'll sign flowers here when I get a chance. I'll go bury flowers. Probably should have had medicine up a lot earlier than this, and this is what, you know, my passion for not doing so. This episode's gone, actually gone long enough, I think, at this point, so let's just say that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Probably someone else is gonna die. But oh well, we'll, we'll get to that when it gets to that.